chairs they have in the lobby. Look at how cute. It swivels. Guys. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's the club room. I'm going to call this the club room. But look how big the room is anyways. You literally can have a dance floor. It literally is the dance floor right here. No, I'm not going to break any moves. I'm going to break something. That's why. But <laughs> I thought that was funny. The club room. Oons, oons, oons. Anyways, but here, fast room tour. Bed is over there. Coffee station or coffee bar. And bathroom i know this is a terrible room tour but anyways i am back to work and i am in where am i in hold on this tv is on hold on. you know sometimes when you get into your hotel room they leave the tv on now um i am in thousand oaks california so i'm back in cali i was just here like what last week um but yeah, so starting um, a workday trip, I am starting a, what is today? So today is uh, July 6th. So they didn't use me from July 1st to the 6th. So I was just was in Vegas, um, sitting at home on reserve. Today starts a eight day trip. Um, so I'm here in Thousand Oaks, California. And then tomorrow we're gonna work here to Anchorage, Alaska. And then I have about like a day, almost two days in Anchorage. Um, so excited because I haven't been to Anchorage in a while and um, planning to do a tour. I'm watching the weather right now. The weather shows a little bit rainy, like 50% chance of rain. But um, I have most of my July crew were here. Um, everybody was, everybody came from everywhere because um, people were volunteering. So they came from wherever they were. Um, so today it was just me and Barry that came from Vegas. Uh, we flew into Los Angeles um, and then our driver picked us up and drove us up the coast through Malibu. So I have my whole July crew except one person, Alicia. Sorry girl, uh, she got split up from our crew for July. So I don't know if we're gonna, if she's gonna come back to us later at the end of the, um, at the end of the trip, but we'll see. But yeah, so I'm just gonna do my usual chill for the rest of the night and then um, tomorrow our van time is at 9.30 a.m. Recognize the palm trees. Wendy and I, right? It's 10.30 at night and we are hungry. <laughs> so we are at In-N-Out Burger getting some, what else, In-N-Out Burgers. Yeah. Double doubles. I was gonna get protein stuff, but then Renz was like, if you're gonna eat a burger, eat a burger. So I'll go with the bun this time. And of course, animal style fries. Good morning, guys. It's about 9 a.m. and um, almost time to catch the shuttle to head to work. Um, so shuttle is gonna be at 9.30 a.m. Our departure is at 11.30 a.m. and then we should get into Anchorage, Alaska at about 3.45 p.m. Um, I know today we have the 777 aircraft and we have a crew of nine and flight time is currently blocked at five hours and 15 minutes and we have about 200 it's showing about 258 passengers so hopefully we'll have maybe about 200 we'll see um, but so far should be um, an easy day we five hour flight so we should do just one meal service and um, yeah so last night I think I fell asleep about 1 a.m. And then um, I, got, I woke up at about 7 a.m. to go downstairs and grab breakfast. So I just had breakfast um, and hung out with a couple of my, or a few of my crewmates downstairs. They were having breakfast as well. And then, um, yeah, so it is almost time to head to work and I will probably see you guys in Alaska. Aloha. <laughs>
Hey guys, so made it to Anchorage, Alaska. We are actually staying at a different hotel this time than our usual, but it's actually really nice. Um, you have like your own sitting area and things like that. So the only thing is that I'm on the first floor and you see my view, it's just of the parking lot. So wasn't too um, crazy about that. They only It only has three floors and the third floor was all taken and second floor. So gotta take what I, what I can get. Um, but yeah, so today's flight was actually four hours and 27 minutes. We had a little over 200 passengers. Um, I work the L4 position, so the last door on the back, in the back of the aircraft. And um, I did the meal cart, but easy flight, um, quick, easy flight. So um, it was an easy day. Uh, so for tomorrow, we are here all day tomorrow. So I booked a tour. So excited for that. It's at 9.30 in the morning. That's the only time they had, so I just took it. But um, tomorrow is supposed to be a little overcast and maybe a little rainy. So I'm crossing my fingers that um, it won't rain like too much, but we'll see how it goes tomorrow. And that's all I had planned. So um, we'll see what else I can um, explore around Alaska in this next couple of days. Good morning, guys. It's about 9 a.m. And I'm heading to my tour. It starts at 9.30. Um, it's going to be about a four-hour tour. Um, it's going to take me to a wildlife conservation area. It's in a rainforest and then um, one of the glaciers. So I'm um, just heading there now. It's about four hours. And weather, it's kind of drizzly right now. But hopefully, um, it says it's not going to be all day. But it's just going to be a little bit cloudy. And the weather is like 50 five degrees so it's a little crisp but not like bone chilling cold which is good well, I just walked through some kind of park area which is really nice and I'm heading to some construction zone so I will talk to you guys in a little bit this is their visitor center look at how cute it is it's like a little log cabin I actually got here a little earlier than I thought. I forgot how small the downtown area is. So um, I got like 15 minutes to spare. But... However, you will see the highway right back there. Searching all the way to Gary. Not sure if you can hear me, but it's kind of windy here but we are on our first stop which is they call beluga point and it is so pretty A little bit, but not like a completely. I'd have no idea. Uh, orca whale, uh, humpback whale, grizzly bear, grizzly bear, whales back there, black bear as well. Twenty thousand dollars. The state's getting a deal since the buy some carpet. Just got to the wildlife conservation center and they got all kinds of animals here bears black bears brown bears moose bison some other animals i never heard of look at all the mountain ranges so let's see what kind of animals we can find <laughs> Here. 
It's a bear. It's bears. Mama and baby bear. So our tour driver just dropped us off in some part of the park and then we have an hour to explore so you just walk around to the different like I don't know what you call these pastures where the animals are so the reindeer it's Rudolph's family and I'm gonna go eat some of his family because they have they're known for their reindeer sausage here in Alaska it's quite tasty so I'll go find some maybe at the gift shop and stuff but yeah look at this it's a whole conservation area wildlife conservation area so there's reindeer and oh my gosh who are you let's go look at this guy who are you are you a reindeer oh He is a caribou. Oh, maybe he is a caribou. They don't have antlers though. Okay. Bye. Look at all these guys. They should have smell a vision because you definitely can smell these animals. Bison or buffalo? I think that's bison. They have a different smell. Like I never smelt that type of animal before. Interesting though. Look at these little baby and mama. Someone left the gate open on this one. That doesn't look too good. We have some Jurassic Park action going on here. Just a bear in a tree, that's all. Got me a... I know it just looks like a regular hot dog, but it's a reindeer Polish hot dog. Like I said before, if anyone's selling you glacier water, you cannot drink glacier water because it is full of silt.
just got done with my tour and I'm in one of the gift shops that was nearby so um, I'm gonna look for some reindeer sausage and see what else kind of little trinket thingies that I always end up buying um, but I got some coffee here made in Anchorage look at these mugs they change color I think when you add hot water to it Hmm, it's not a Starbucks mug, but do I need it? It is pouring now. Um, I just ran into a couple of my crewmates there walking around town too. They're gonna go do a trolley tour right now. And then I know some of my other crewmates, uh, we all kind of did our own thing today. Some of my other crewmates, they did, um, they rented some bikes and biked around by the water and things like that. But now it's really rainy. But I'm going to go to the mall, which is over there, I think. Um, just walk around the mall and then maybe grab something to eat from the food court. I'll see what kind of food they got there. Their mall is alive and well. Not like that other mall that we was. Where was I in? I forget where I was. Remember that dead mall that I was in? Oh my gosh, look at how many floors this place has. Look at all that. I'm gonna go find where the food court is. They still have a JC Pennies, can you believe that? Alright guys, so I'm back at the hotel in my little living room area here. It's so nice. Um but yeah, so the tour today was really really awesome. The weather was a little iffy, but it was like off and on, little sprinkles, but not full on rain until this last bit when I was walking to the mall. So it was a really good tour and got to see such beautiful mountains and the glaciers. And I can't believe how blue that water was, but our tour driver said it's because of the silt that's in the water that makes it that color, I think is what he said. Um. But just amazing mountainscape got to see today and then of course all those animals um some of them which um i probably won't get a chance to see anywhere else um so that was nice to see the buffalo and moose and reindeer and um there was the wolves wasn't out because there was wolves there the coyote i could only get a glimpse i think i got a glimpse of the coyote and the fox Foxes were hiding in their little shelter things, so couldn't really see them, but um, seeing that bear up in the tree, that was like the craziest thing I've seen before. I know they can climb the trees, but to actually see it in real life, um, you just wonder like, how did they even get up there? And he was just hanging out up there, up in a tree. You would never think a bear in a tree. And so I stopped at the gift shop after the tour and got some reindeer sausage and some coffee that's made here um and then stopped at the mall and um of course i seen that they had a hawaiian food base so got some food from there um i'm just going to relax i am pretty tired right now so I'm just going to relax for the rest of the night i forget what time our shuttle is tomorrow i have to double check our schedule um, so tomorrow we are going to work um, here, Anchorage to Guam, and then we have another short layover in Guam, just like my other last one. But this time we're going to arrive in the afternoon and then leave in the morning. Um, and then from there, where am I working from Guam? From Guam, I think we work a flight to Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, because I know we... Atlanta is in there somewhere. I think it's Guam to Atlanta and then we work Atlanta to Dulles and then our layover is going to be in Dulles. I'll confirm when I double check my schedule. 
look at this, you guys. That's 10 p.m. Look at my window. This is 10 p.m. in Anchorage, Alaska. Ain't that crazy? Well, this hotel certainly knows how to do a wake-up call. It's about 7.30 a.m. and I was just about gonna get up myself, but um, a few minutes early, but that's okay. So I'm just going to get up and get ready for the day and I will talk to you guys in a I did it again. I was trying to make um, oatmeal. Ay, ay, ay. I was trying to make oatmeal and then I forgot to take out the I forgot to take out the coffee filter again. So now I have coffee and oatmeal. I can't believe I just did it again. <laughs> what is going on with me? I need to make a big, put a big post-it note on my coffee maker, like check filter, check filter before I make something. All right, let me try my coffee infused oatmeal now. Maybe I should start like a new type of cuisine, like coffee infused meals that you can make with your coffee maker in your hotel room. Okay, so I tasted my coffee infused oatmeal and I'm not gonna lie, it actually tastes good. Um, the oatmeal that I had used was the brown sugar oatmeal. So it kind of is like how um, Starbucks has their brown sugar lattes right now. It's actually good. I'm not gonna show you, it looks a little weird right now but it tastes good. All right guys, it is about 9 a.m. and I'm gonna to head to the lobby to meet the rest of my crew for band time, but had a really nice time here. Um, it was nice to have at least two days here in Anchorage, so I got to explore more. The tour was awesome, got to see animals that I would have never seen up close. Um, glaciers, okay, so the funny thing with the glaciers, I did not know that glaciers can form like on mountain tops. I thought glaciers only formed on bodies of water. That's why when we went to, I think it was Portage Glacier, we walked up to that small lake and I'm like, how can there be a glacier on this lake? Not knowing that the glacier was up on the mount across the lake up on the mountain. So yeah, so I mean, that's why I became a flight attendant so I can travel the world and learn new things, learn new cultures, but I seriously did not know that. So. Yeah, so travel the world so you can learn new things. If not, pay attention in school. Um, anyways, had a really nice time here. And um, today, let's see, today for our flight, flight time is 10, departures at 10.45 a.m. We're gonna arrive into Guam at about 3 p.m. tomorrow, cause they're a day ahead. We have only a short layover, like 15 hours there. So I don't know how much we can do there. I think flight time is, blocked at nine hours and 15 minutes and we have about 300 passengers we do have the 777 aircraft so um yeah not looking forward to that many passengers but we'll see how much we actually have and then we have the same crew so we have the same crew of nine um i'm not too sure what positions we're going to work yet normally we keep our same positions but some people might want to uh, switch around so i guess we'll see once we do our um, briefing but okay so i will probably see you guys when i'm in guam aloha